<laughs> All right. Welcome to the Internet's most unorthodox PC custom build unboxing videos you're going to see. Uh, first, I want to start off by giving a special thanks to Jay's Two Cents channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your knowledge and wisdom and time you spend on making videos and making this stuff easy to understand for uh, not so expert level PC builders like myself. And also to the obvious uh, Linus Tech Tips, tech tips for doing such good videos and um, being very thorough again with all your all your wisdom. So this <laughs> is going to be a overview video unboxing style whatever uh, in the garage from an average Joe on my uh, new custom. Uh, rendering CAD rig. A lot of videos on YouTube especially are very heavy weighted to the gaming industry and a lot of the builds are to play games. My build is going to be to actually work and make some friggin money. Um, I own a company. I own, I've owned my company for 12 years and we do everything from web design to video editing and now CAD and 3D rendering. Uh, so I wanted to uh, get rid of my old build that just cannot handle uh, rendering or any sort of 3D stuff for any period of time, and I'm building this rig. So if you're gonna follow this video series, understand two things. One, this is not a budget build, and two, I did not pay for this, my company paid for it, and it will live at the office. So that is the two main things I want you to take away because the entire build price, the entire parts price for this setup is $11,000. So it's not gonna be something that everybody's just gonna go out and, and do and buy. but Give you a couple of highlights. It's gonna be a dual RTX Titan rig. It's going to have two separate uh, liquid uh, water cooling loops. And I'm gonna do an entire video build series from the average Joe's perspective, from you know how to bend hard line. You've seen a million videos on it before. Jay's Two Cents has a great tutorial on it. So I recommend you watching that video first. But I'm gonna show you, um, this is 16 millimeter OD tubing, how to make custom uh, bends and and get around obstacles and everything else how to use the fittings what to buy what to watch out for how to not get confused when you start getting into the sea of shit when it comes to trying to find parts i'm going to try to break all this down for you i've done the research i've done the hard work um so that's what's going on it's going into the this is the thermal take tower 900 series this is almost a three foot tall tower it's not small uh it's 20 inches by 21 inches by 32 inches so you need to have a lot of space to keep this, but the reason why I went with this tower is because I can run a lot of cooling. It has a lot of air volume. I have big arms and big hands and I need to be able to work in here. I need to be able to upgrade this if I need to. Uh, so it is a full size piece. And hopefully if it comes out as good as I think it will in my head, this will make a pretty cool series. So without further ado, let's dive into the box. This box right here, just this delivery, there's about $8,700 in parts right here. So <laughs> guarding this thing with my life. But everything's starting to kind of trickle in. I still have deliveries coming on Tuesday. So it's Saturday today. So let's dive in and let me show you kind of what's going on, what I'm going to be using, why I chose it. If you're watching this video, I hope that you are into 3D animation or some sort of CAD. Um, this is not going to be a gaming rig. I mean, you could save a lot of money if you're just trying to build a gaming rig and get the similar performance. But I'll tell you why I went with the certain things I did. Um, and maybe this will help you kind of build your rig if you're into CAD and 3D and rendering. Specifically like Maya, Blender, stuff that is heavy on resources. So at the heart and soul of this system, it is getting... The Core i9 X series. Uh, this is a, from what I've researched, this is a very good processor. Still in 2020, I think there's a new one coming out. 10 series. I don't, you know, you can always chase the latest and greatest thing, but honestly, the, the main, the main build here is going to be in these GPUs, these Titan RTXs. But just to give you some specs, I'll show them here on the screen so you can see these. It's a 2066 socket, really good. I think this a. 14 core processor, 12 core. It's, it's got a lot of cores. <laughs> I'll put the specs in there. You guys can research it. Um, I wasn't, you know, I wanted to get a good processor, but honestly, it's, that's where the performance is going to come from in those GPUs. It's getting dual, uh, 970 Evo M.2s. Um, those are, these pieces here are all going to be paired up with, I'll show you this in a minute. These are gorgeous. 
All gonna be paired up to the Asus Prime X299 Deluxe 2. There's the heat sinks for the M.2s. It's got three GPU slots. It's got eight RAM chip slots. So, uh, and it's also a solid motherboard. You guys can look this up, you know, cr you know Crossfire, SLI, just, you know, good, good piece. So that's what's going there. Here's all the RAM, Corsair, Vengeance RGB Pro, DDR4 memory, 32 gigs in each box. There's four boxes here. Do the math. Wanted to rig with a lot of RAM because if you do any sort of video editing on Premiere, you will appreciate RAM uh, and you'll appreciate that fast CPU. Up next, got the NVLink bridge, uh, three slot uh, design. So I can pair these two babies together and utilize all of their 48 in combined megabytes of memory to handle complex models. And that's what I'm gonna dive into here. If you are building a PC and you're just using it for gaming, I would not go with Titan RTX. You can save $1,300 per GPU if you go with a 2080 Ti. And this rig would have gotten 2080 Ti's. It would have gotten three 2080 Ti's. Problem is, even if, even if you can manage to get all three of those GPUs to talk to one another and utilize all of their communication, you're only gonna get 33 megabytes of, of memory. These are 24 megabytes each of memory. So when you pair them together with the NVLink bridge, you can get almost 50 megs of memory to handle complex models. And if you guys have done any kind of CAD with um, high polygon counts, uh, complex scenes, cities, a lot, um, lot of light bounces, you're going to realize real quick that you're, you will eat up that memory on those 2080 Ti's. And that's a bottleneck because it's going to have to reach out to the resources of your RAM and run your CPU to really gain that memory so you're gonna you're gonna lose a lot of render time and if you're making a long animation then that extra render time added to each one of those frames will cost you so much time of your own personal time that it's not worth it so that's my soapbox for you know i'm gonna get off the soapbox now but that's me on the soapbox of speaking to why i ran with titan rtx's instead of 2080 ti's was gonna go with the quadros the 5,500 bucks a piece for same performance. You just don't get their little proprietary uh, white glove service kind of thing. Uh, I'm gonna go with these. These are 2,500 bucks a piece and I will show you them in all their gold glory here. There they are. Titan RTX, beautiful. This is what what you get here. And I am, and like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is going to be a uh, custom dual water cooling loop. So to water cool Titan RTXs, you are very limited on your blocks. So thankfully, this company, awesome company, these things came all the way from Germany and we're here in like three days during COVID-19. So these, very fast shipping. These are gorgeous. These are probably nicer built than the damn GPUs. These are the EK Vector. Remember the uh, Titan RTX also runs on the Touring architecture. Beautiful, look at these things. Gold hardware everywhere. Got your Titan and your translucent uh, RGB light up sector. Just beautiful blocks. Now these blocks are not cheap. Uh, I was hoping to only spend about 150 bucks a block. These are $250 per block. Uh, plus shipping, so not cheap. I'm gonna do a video on this channel showing you how to mate the Titan RTX to this block. Whole how-to video, so make sure you subscribe on that. I have shit everywhere. Up next is going to be all these little fittings. I bought a bunch of 90s in case I need to make some complex 90s in here and I just get lazy and don't wanna do the bends. That's why I have 90s. I'm gonna try not to use them though and send them back, but get a lot of extra fittings on hand. This is the EK Quantum Velocity uh, water block for the CPU, because again, everything's gonna be water-cooled. Uh, the only thing I'm waiting on actually is the delivery of my radiators. Um, those should be coming soon. Each radiator gets four 120 millimeter fans, so 480 mil radiators. Uh, down here is another RTX Titan. This stuff's all going in the safe tonight. 
can't believe how much this crap costs. It's really insane. Uh, down here, uh, two thermal take uh, water pumps. They're the PR22 D5s, uh, pump and reservoir with RGB support. And there's a lot of haters that don't like RGB. I, th I think it's kind of cool. I mean, just, you know, some, something cool. You can just have something nice to look at. Uh, this is the... Oh, this is the GPU block, cooling block. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this or not, and I'll explain why when I actually get into the build series, but it's just a plexi cooling block to join these two up so I don't have to use a ton of compression fittings to, to join them together. Uh, one side is gonna get the purple um, transparent coolant. Other side is going to get the blue transparent coolant to complement the RGB. Please don't thumbs down if you hate RGB. I, I like both. You know, maybe I'll do a build video for both. This is just some more fittings. A bunch of these Rosewell RGB fans. Uh, these will be barely visible through here, but you'll see them halo out through here on the sides. Running with white fittings by Thermaltake. Again, 16 millimeter OD compression fittings there. Bunch of fittings, bunch of friggin' fans in this shipment here. And that is about it on this particular video. Like I said, I still got the radiators coming. I still got my power supply coming. I'm running with a 1200 watt power supply. Here's my tubing. I got a tubing bender kit off camera. Just a bunch of crap. So I know this video is getting into the almost the 12 minute mark, but I do appreciate you watching. Remember you guys, um, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to try to do my best to really show you how to build a good editing, editing rig, a good workstation, something solid, something that's going to, you know, be expandable, um, something that's going to actually perform. You know, building a gaming PC to do work is usually a good choice until you start getting into, like I mentioned, the, the demands of memory, how the memory can be allocated and how it can be used to speed up your time because time is money. And if you guys run a business, you know that if you're spending, and this is my case right now, if you're spending an extra four hours, like right now I'm rendering low poly scenes on two GTX 980s. I mean, you're talking ridiculous amounts of time to make five second, six second videos, just just terrible. So if, if you're gonna run an editing rig or a 3D rig and you're not dealing with high poly models, then run with 2080 Ti's, you'll save yourself a ton of money. If you're gonna be getting into more custom architecture, um, high poly models, um, doing complex scenes, rendering videos for any length of time, Go with, a, go with the Quadro series of the Titan RTXs. Just trust me on that. So I appreciate you guys watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll get you in the next video. Later.